Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge with episode 7 of Profitable Mining in the Entropia Universe. And this is the P&L Profit and Loss Spreadsheet. Uh, I want to make it quick so that uh, we can keep you keep you going, get this done fast, and uh, get you back out there mining and making some pad. So, let's get into it. Okay, let's set this spreadsheet up for just planet specific because you may want to do it for each and every planet. So we'll just call it Planet P&L. How about that? That'll make life a lot easier. Then you can do whatever you want. And then we're going to just put in some more fields like base total and then overall percent to yeah, base total on PED and then like overall percent return. So you can see it in a, as a positive or a hopefully a positive number. It is, there are going to be times when it isn't always positive. So that's just... Uh, something you got to keep in mind but overall per, uh, percent overall return so we've got that field and let's just add a ton of fields really quickly so we can uh we can get this moving so let's put in some header cells run date description description of the run the date you know and then let's put in um cost and per run per ped and this will be another header section and then under cost we're going to need the cost of everything that we put in so probes finder decay excavator decay uh, and i'm just filling in the cells as quickly as possible refiner decay i could spell decay and then fuel if you have it uh your first aid pack armor miscellaneous and then the total costs for all those and that will just make it look pretty okay well then after we make it a little, look a little prettier uh let's put in this will be a run return uh, in ped value, in TT ped value. And then that will just be or and matter, and then the miscellaneous. Miscellaneous and then totals, of course. The miscellaneous could be anything, you know. Um, could be probes you didn't use. It could be angel scales you found. Okay, let's put in sales. Auction house and TT sales. And then I'm going to do something a little interesting. I'm going to go to base value and then sale value for the ores and end matters. EN is end matter. Obviously, ores or. Ore. Then the auction house fee, which is, you know, fundamental. We're going to need that. Uh, then our auction house gain and our TT sale. And last, we need some a remainder, our run return total, and then we'll get a percentage from our run return. And then I'm just going to go through, like always, and you know, make it look a little bit more pretty, uh, bold some things so that we know what are the headers and what are not. And then we'll go uh, go from there. Realize I went through that pretty darn fast. But you don't have to worry. You can go back and you can pause the video and see, or, or just kind of follow along as I'm right now. And if you're doing this for your for yourself, you can see what I put in for the cells, the header cells, and then of course everything else. But what I'm going to do now is go back to episode four's information uh, because we did that one mining run and show you how to put that in. So this is how I set mine up. Uh, so I put in the date, uh, the year. And April 29th. I know that's backwards to the American system, but that's the way my science brain works. And then I'm going to put in the description section what finder I use, which was the F105. I'm going to put in what uh, um, excavator I use, which is the RE101. Then I'm going to put in the refiner that I used. Remember, it was two refiners, but I'm just going to input the decay which from the T1. It was basically the T104, but I'm it's the culmination of the two, the TT finder and the T104 from episode four. And then I'm going to put what I started with. So we started with 50 ped and probes. Uh, our finder decay was what, uh, 574, but we have 57.4 pack, 0.574 ped. Uh, the excavator decay was 43.3 pack or 0.433 ped. And then the combined refiner decay was 25.4 pack or 0.254 PED. So we didn't have any fuel costs because remember I, I made that mistake and uh, my fuel cost was like a quarter of a peck at the most. I'm not, you should include it, but I'm not just in this particular deal. And then the other option here is to go through and, you know, if there's armor or miscellaneous or whatever, add those totals in. There isn't any for this particular run. So now I'm just going to add these up. And you could do this a couple of different ways. It just depends on what you want to do. You can kind of click cell to cell. So B8 plus C8 plus D8 plus E8 plus F8 plus G, H, and blah, 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 down the road, right? Uh, that's one way you can do it. I I have mixed emotions because sometimes I want to be able to come back and change a particular cell for something. And I don't want, but I want, I don't want to go change the formula again, then drag it all the way down. 
But the other way to do this is to actually just go in there and type in sum. So like right here, I'm just adding I8 in there. But the other way to do this is to, to take that particular formula and go back up to the top and say, all right, I want to sum over all of these cells. And then I'm going to drag that down you know, to a thousand or whatever the, whatever the case may be. This is probably a better way to do it for this setup is the summation. Uh, and just because it's easy to drag it and then boom, you get the same exact number. So that's, that's the option there. And, uh, let's just move on to the return. All right. The, it was just a Listerium was that, uh, was that mining run and it was uh, 28, 0.67 PED of Listerium, no end matter. And in this case, I'm going to put in the miscellaneous, I'm going to put the remaining probes that I didn't use, which was 22 ped worth of probes, right? And now I just need to total up these columns. And again, I'm going to use summation here, the, the, the sum function, because it's pretty fast. Sometimes I, I will do it differently. I'll just go plus, plus, plus. But in this instance, I'm just going to do the summation uh, function. So in the instance of that previous mining run, we didn't sell all of the listerium, right? So this, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the numbers in. We actually ended up selling 28.02 PED of the listerium, uh, and the sale for that was 29 ped. Now what we need to do is add the auction house fee, which was 0.54 PED, and calculate the gain, which is the or sale value, which is 29 ped minus the or base value plus the auction fee and that'll give us our uh, should be 44 peck but that uh it's the best i had to, had to actually type it in because it was uh the cell was overcoming yeah there we go 44 peck so that works out pretty good so we got that all set up then we're going to put in the tt sale uh value because we had to tt the um the, the probes that we use we didn't use so that you that's this is all the manual cells and how to keep track of that and then of course we didn't sell 0 0.65 ped of the listeria so this is a really basic run this could be a lot more complex the tt cell could be a lot more complex there could be ores there could be there could be treasure for that matter so when we get to, i'm trying to keep everything on the screen here so we can get a uh, get a really good picture of what's going on but uh, you you may need to add treasure if you're on a different planet. So let's look at run return and let's do the calculation for the cells of a run return. Okay, now let's calculate the run return. And I'm going to check my work as I go along to make sure. What I need to do is I need to look at the total TT value that I got in return. And then I also need to subtract from that the total cost. So I should get a negative number and that's exactly what I get. So that, that, checks out. I just, I'm a stickler for checking my work when I build spreadsheets because I, I get worried uh, that I'm going to screw it up and then forget how it worked later. And we need to build uh, a lot of things into this now. We need to actually look at the sale of the ore because that, obviously that's going to be an important part. When you look at the remainder, which is that 0.65 PED of Listerium that we had left over, also need to look at the sale of the TT sale of the um, the probes so that gets us 51059 uh, which is so it's something still missing what's missing is the uh the auction house fee got to include that or rather we need to subtract the auction house fee from all of this so i need to put everything in parentheses parentheses here and then i can subtract the auction house fee and we'll be able to have an accurate number so after subtracting the auction house fee, we get 50.519 PED, which will now uh, allow us to calculate the run return percent. Remember that the run return has the total cost already calculated into it. So what we'll then need to do is divide the run return by the number of probes or the cost. It, you know, it may not even be probes that you use. It might be uh, universal ammo and you would put that in there so we can change the probes to whatever you want but that gives us 101.038 percent return which isn't too bad for his light listerium run like we did uh, but next we need to populate all of the fields that have a function and a calculation in them and then we can do our base total and a percent overall return okay so let's populate 
run return down, I don't know, 20 or so cells. Same with total. Remember how to do this if you haven't done Excel before. See, me, me screwing it up. Uh, it's just take that bottom right corner until you get the big buck cross and then pull that down. And the same thing. So we got total cost, total run return, ped value, TT, and then run return value. And so we'll use those cells to calculate our base total ped and percent overall return. So for the base total, let's sum, use the sum function across all of the run return cells that we populated so far. And then we only have one entry, so it's 50.519, so that's perfectly reasonable. Now we want to do the overall percent return, which is going to be an average, because we've got to take percentages here. We, can, we could add them up and then divide them, but we're, we're, it's easier just to use the average function, and then we'll populate there. Now there's nothing in those far right, the far right field, but if I put in something, um, I put in another value, um, I'm going to get a divide by zero in the overall return. So each and every time I have a new run date and description, I'll need to pull the bottom right corner down of the, the run return percent. Otherwise, we get the division by zero. See what I mean? So you just it's one of those things you'll have to remember to do if this is the way you're going to set up your spreadsheet. So that's pretty much it overall. Only things that you will need to have, you will need to do is to update certain cells. And so I'm going to highlight those cells that need manually to be manually updated in yellow. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, anything that has a function in it that you don't update manually, those things will be highlighted in blue. And you could just using that, use, do that using the fill uh, color option up here in the, uh, in this menu. And this just makes it a little bit easier for you down the road because then you can say, oh, okay, well, gosh, I know that um, the auction house gain is going to calculate itself, and a run return is going to calculate, total is going to calculate, total cost is going to calculate. And so that makes your makes your life a lot easier. Uh, and you can certainly change the font colors too. Uh, I didn't actually mean to do that here. <laughs> I realized what I was doing. But this is the basic, the basic calc profit and loss calculator. Now, there are options here. There could be a lot more complex than this. You could have started with um, sort of a running ledger total. So you actually have some something in storage on planet Arcadia, for example. And that ledger is a much more challenging set of formulas. So I'm just doing it the basic way so that anyone who's just getting started can do this to manually input their values for each and every run. And over time, you'll start to be able to build some graphs from this as well. And I really would like to cover some of that way further down the road. But we have a way now of calculating our total, our base total in PED and our overall percent return, which I think is pretty darn amazing. Well, there you have the Cape Profit and Loss Calculator. It's pretty basic. And you can uh, expand that to include other things like treasure from Arcadia. And that's why I say it's planet specific. That's that's the, the ideas that you can create at the bottom of each and every spreadsheet, a new tab for each and every planet. And then you can have one tab for them all, you know, to calculate your total return overall. And you can start to see how things change planet to planet and, you know, even land area to land area for that matter. So I hope this is helping people. Definitely the comments from the last video were positive that a auction house spreadsheet was valuable to the community and i'm hoping this will be valuable as well you can use this for hunting you just need to change some of the 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 cell properties right not not necessarily the calculations so much but uh that's the profit and loss calculator if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing to the channel and uh hope to see you all again soon in a new video this is sturge signing off ciao for now